This is the Rhode Island Homestead hen house. With every chicken coop we sell, we have a hand-sewn apron. The egg aprons that are included are 14 pocket egg aprons, and they're designed to let you capture your eggs and have your hands free to keep doing what you need to do around your coop and around your garden. The boxes are packaged and protected. Even if the outside of the box shows some damage, the inside components should be damage free. When you open up the box, take out panels A through E, follow the instructions and assemble the panels. There's four dolls that line up with pre-drilled holes and those dolls get set in, the holes are pre-drilled, you line up your screws with the dolls in place, hold it together, screw it tight. The instructions outline which screws are the appropriate screws to use. These are the longest of the screws in the kit. Screening, the staples I put on the inside of the coop as we're constructing it. This component that I'm putting in place, this panel B needs to be flush with the bottom. I need to have the space here for the clean out drawer. So I make sure this is flush Put my screws in. For step two, we're going to assemble the nesting box. We need F, H, and G. The three sides of the nesting portion with the high side going directly against the coop. And we line up the pre-drilled holes, put the screws in, and make sure we're level. Pre-drilled holes, make sure it's level. The standard is to prop your nesting box roof up to allow you to grab eggs and not have to hold the roof in place. This panel goes inside and it's the floor of your nesting box. The side with the two rised pieces of wood is the top. These are the dividers. They slide in to the bottom and the side on the nesting box. Step five starts with the attaching of the nesting box roof. You'll check to make sure your pre-drilled holes are lined up and that your latch lines up in the front. We use heavy duty stainless steel hardware to keep the birds in place and this clip is heavy duty to also keep away predators and allow for the safety of the birds. The door, the window has this locking mechanism so that you can ventilate and when it's evening time you pull these down and that will keep predators out from opening the window and having access to the screen. This piece is when you have a run extension designed to attach to the door and this will protrude through the run extension and you'll be able to open the door and close your door without going into the run extension. Step six, M and N, the roosting rods. Put the lower rods in first. Rounded edges up, flat edges down. The roosting rod on the top goes in an angle from one portion of the panel to the other portion of the panel. It will support and strengthen the coop. To keep the girls dry, we've added flashing to this area. So when the water comes off the roof, it will hit the flashing and come off of the flashing and to keep the girls dry. So I line this up, pre-drilled holes. Panel O, the roof panels. Reinforced strips and a liner to help make certain that the ladies are dry. 
this falls into place fairly, fairly easy. Four screws, pre-drilled holes. This last of the four screws and then repeat the same process on the other side. Roof panels in place, the top cap goes on. I like to center the cap to about a quarter inch on each side and it will feel right when it's right. And screws, again, pre-drilled holes. This is the reinforced cleaning tray. The poop tray slides in right here. I would leave the coop open when you put it in for the initial time so you can see the easy slide. I like to wax both sides down the road, although this first time there's no wax on it. On the door there's three marked spots that the hasp goes hasp in place. I put this component on the other side of the frame, close the hasp to make sure that it's lined up, hold the hasp in place, take that off and put the screws in. Okay, we use the JustCo locks. We partnered up with, with that company. They are an amazing product. And that is also pre-marked. So we line up. Side in place and make sure that it lines up perfectly. Which it does. And get it drilled in place. Adjusco has a patented bolt except that actually goes up and down, so as changes occur with that lid, it's still easy to latch that bolt. This is the ladder. I recommend you do this as the last step. It goes in front of the doorway. Again, there's pre-marked spots that the hinges go on and you screw it in place just like that. Easy in, easy access for the girls. Thank you for buying the Chicken Coop Company Coop. Our family appreciates you and we look forward to your comments, your recommendations. We hope you and your girls enjoy this coop.